Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing this really, really quick. I didn't expect to put this one up because I'm in the middle of getting ready to go to work. But, um, after my friend Colmar had already put up his video on this subject reminding me that I was planning on doing the same thing, I might as well do it. I don't know if you guys have caught this yet, but if you haven't, you better. And spread the news, because this is important. Um, as you all know, creationists for a long time have been trying rather unsuccessfully to debate against the theory of evolution. I say unsuccessfully because anybody who actually knows even the smallest bit of, well, okay, let me change my mind on that because they, they kind of know the smallest bit and they don't understand it. Those who have, a, you know, a decent amount of knowledge on evolution and understand what the theory is trying to say, they know that their arguments are unsuccessful. It's only the ignorant that think that the creationists actually have a point. And one of their major arguments against it is that we've never seen any new species pop up in our lifetimes. Of course, we can always argue that things don't just simply pop up out of nowhere, and, you know, it takes, you know, a while for things to split off into another group, uh, another species. And that has been the counter-argument, but they won't hear that. And never mind the fact that there are, in fact, new species popping up all the time. But these guys, they want to see something that's obvious. They don't want to see bacteria splitting off, and they don't want to see some fish in the sea that you can barely encounter, you know, splitting off into a new species. They want to see something right now. You know, they, in their terms, want to see that monkey turn into a man. Which, even though that's not exactly how evolution works, but whatever. Well, if you guys have been paying attention to this sort of news, then you would have noticed that there has been a new species that has popped up and split off from another one recently. And, interestingly enough, it's on the very island that Charles Darwin went to that you know, influenced his thoughts to create theory in the first place. Right in the Galagopolis Islands, there is now a new species of finch. Yep, you've heard me correctly. Just go and Google it. Just simply Google birth of new species. Just type that in. I happen to have gotten this link from my friend through the um, Wired Science um, website, which has a decent article on it. But apparently there are other places online, too, that are talking about it. Um, you got one of the evolution lists on blogspot.com. you got um, um, www.nature.com talking about this. you got scienceblips.dailyradar.com. you got birdforum.net. <laughs> you know, people are talking about this. There is now a new species of bird. And they can actually see where it's split from. So, who wants to make a bet on how long it's going to take before creationists desperately try to find a way to um, quote-unquote disprove this one? They haven't really been able to disprove a damn thing, but in their minds, as long as they come up with a gotcha argument that satisfies their own ignorance, they'll call it, you know, they'll, they'll say that they've disproved it or debunked it. They don't even know what a debunking is, but they'll claim that they've debunked something. But here, you now have a new species of bird that split off from another one. Let's see them try to twist this one around. My guess is that they're going to try to say, oh, it's not a new species at all. It's, 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 it's a variation, which is what you can say about some of the other species on Earth. Really, I would like to know. It will be funny to see how they're going to try to twist this one around. It will really be entertaining to see how far the depths of their ignorance and ego will go in trying to say, that oh, this, this can't be real. But here it is. There's a video that I have not put up because I didn't really like the way it came out, but I'm going to give you a little bit of it. For any creationists that happen to be watching this video right now, people, if you don't know anything about science, you are not qualified to argue against the findings in that subject. This isn't something like maybe arguing philosophy where you're talking in a whole lot of abstracts. This isn't about discussing feelings where you can come up with any emotion you want and it may sound plausible to the people. This is science, okay? To quote theoretical bullshit, you need degrees for this shit, okay? You need to actually have a background in this subject before you can start arguing about whether any things in it make any sense. Because if you don't have a background in it, then just about everything in it will not make any sense. For instance, I do not have a computer science degree, nor do I have an electrical engineering degree. 
So I cannot fathom how they're able to get little silicon chips to produce what I am now seeing on my computer screen. They are also able to take binary, just simple ones and zeros, and able to transform it into things like videos and you know and MP3s and WAV files and you know computer programs that can do everything from word processing to rendering video to playing video games to you know just simple calculations. And they're able to do this with some wires and some silicon chips. It's amazing to me. I have no idea how this is done. Now, if somebody who does know how it's done is telling me the theories that they have to, you know, use in order to come up with this stuff, even if something doesn't make much sense to me, I'm not going to question them on it because I don't have a background in the subject. I will ask them, well, exactly how does this work? I don't really understand. And, of course, they're going to be like, well, of course you don't understand. This isn't your field. And they're going to have to try to dumb down what they know in order for a layperson like me to understand what they're doing. Now, I don't think you guys are going to argue with me on that. And you yourselves will simply accept that whatever they're doing with computer science must make sense because, well, here it is. But you don't realize that you're doing the exact same stupid thing when you go around and trying to argue against evolution and you don't have a background in the subject. I notice most of your arguments always come down, basically they boil down to, I don't get how you can say it's this way. I don't understand. This doesn't make much sense to me. Of course it doesn't make much sense to you because you don't know anything about science. If you don't have a background in this shit, you are not qualified to point out any flaws in it. Now, you might get lucky through some basic rational and logical deduction skills and, you know, be able to figure out, wait a minute, that doesn't exactly add up. But to actually go into the mechanics of it and to figure out how they came to their conclusions, you don't know anything about that. You don't even know how the scientific process works. Otherwise, you morons wouldn't be walking around saying stupid shit like, oh, it's just a theory. You have no idea how much of your ignorance you expose every time you say that line. Seriously. So yeah, it should be interesting how many lay people are going to be going around saying that, oh, this, this, this new species of fish thing can't be real, and don't have a background in biology at all to actually be able to refute it. They're going to be the equivalent of people going, this computer shit just doesn't work! There's no way you can get a whole bunch of silicon chips that, you know, make stuff like this. There must be something they're not telling us. That's what you guys are doing, whether you realize it or not. So, yeah, guys, check it out. Go online, check this stuff out, and let's see how, you know, the creationists are going to try to twist this one around. And they're going to find a way. Remember, these are the same people who are putting up freaking museums where they got dinosaurs walking alongside people. If they can pull that shit off and get people to believe it, <laughs> they're capable of just about anything. Anyway, catch you guys later.